Welcome to day 13 of the 30 day holiday video challenge. Today we're whipping up a couple of easy and super yummy fall mug cakes. Hi there foodie friends, my name is Carly and welcome to my channel Adventures in Yum. Before we get to today's video, I have a passion for learning about creating and trying new foods, drinks, and especially desserts. If you want to join me on my yummy adventures and especially for this challenge, then please make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll know when I upload new videos every week. Now, let's get into today's video. To a mixing bowl, we're adding a quarter cup or 35 grams of all-purpose flour, two and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, eighth teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of spiced apple cider drink mix. We give that a quick whisk to combine everything, and then we add one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of concentrated apple cider, which I show how to make that in my regular apple cider cake video, and I've linked that in this video. Once that's all mixed together, we add the batter to a microwave safe 8 to 12 ounce mug that's been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. We then place it in our microwave and heat it for about 60 to 90 seconds. I usually like to start with one minute, check the mug cake, and then add more time if needed. It shouldn't need any more than 90 to 120 seconds at the very most. Just make sure not to heat it for too long because people often overcook their mug cakes and that usually makes them dry or rubbery in texture. Once the mug cake's ready, we remove it from the microwave and let it cool for a couple of minutes. We then add our topping, which I decided to keep it nice and simple with this one, some whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon. This mug cake is one that's a little more dense and gooey in texture, which is why I opted for a nice light topping. Before we make the pumpkin mug cake, if you're getting value out of this video, then please make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about my latest video. To a mixing bowl, we're adding a quarter cup or 35 grams of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. We give that a quick whisk to combine everything and then we add two tablespoons of mayonnaise and a quarter cup or about 56 grams of canned pumpkin puree. Once that's all mixed together, we add the batter to a microwave safe 12 to 16 ounce mug that's been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. We then place it in our microwave and heat for about 60 to 90 seconds. Once again, I usually like to start with one minute, check the mug cake and add more time if needed. It should not need any more time than 90 to 120 seconds at the very, very most. As I said before, just make sure you don't heat it for too long. Once the mug cake is ready, we remove it from the microwave and let it cool for a couple of minutes. We then add our toppings. For this mug cake, I decided to add a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream, a generous drizzle of homemade caramel, and a nice sprinkle of chopped pecans. This mug cake is super light and fluffy, which made ice cream the perfect way to top it off. For a fun alternative option to a warm mug cake, you can also let the cake completely cool, chill it in the refrigerator overnight, and then cut it into little circles of cake. You can then layer that with whipped cream, caramel, and pecans to make a cute little personal size trifle like I did here. I actually made this on a live stream cooking demo that I did last fall with Sac State Unique Programs. Which mug cake are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. You can also find these fall mug cakes on my website, adventuresinyum.net. The link is in the description below. Make sure to come back tomorrow for day 14, where we will be making an awesome fall scone recipe. If you're interested in checking out some of the products that I used in this video, then please make sure to check out the video description below for their Amazon links. Thank you so much for joining me today, foodie friends. I'll see you next time for another yummy adventure.